Welcome to the virtual security tutorial on how to build an end-to-end -end encrypted iOS app on Firebase. To get started, navigate to virtualsecurity.com forward slash get started. Once you're on the virtual security website, you'll log in or create a virtual security account. Then we're going to create an application. On the first page you'll see, you'll see it select use case. We're going to name our application and then choose end in encryption. You can see the Firebase logo underneath the description. So after we create our application, you can see the tutorials and demos we have to help you get started. Find the Firebase iOS, then download the config file. You'll need that later. Then click on iOS and it'll open up the GitHub page and that's where we're going to start. First, I want to take you back to the Virgil dashboard real quickly just to show you a little tour. You can see this is your application page that we called Firebase Sample. If you ever get lost, you can always come back here to restart the tutorial where it says Firebase iOS. If you did not download the config file, you can always find your public and API key IDs here. All right, let's get back to GitHub. Okay, first you want to open Terminal. This is where a lot of the work is going to happen. We're going to start with cloning the repository to your computer. Navigate to the folder where you want to store the application and then execute these two commands. You'll notice the wording's a little different in the first one. Don't worry about that. All right, let's move into the application folder. This demo uses several modules, Virgils and Firestores. The packages are distributed via CocoaPods, which manages the dependencies for your Xcode projects. You can install it with Homebrew using the following command. We already have it, so we're going to update it. First, we're just gonna type in the brew install CocoaPods. It says we already have it. So then we're going to move on to going to the project folder and updating the dependencies. Uh, just executed pod install. Wait for that to process a little bit. And then we're going to copy and paste the next one. that will actually, actually take us into the workspace. Do to do. Okay, so Xcode is opening up. So the next steps in the process involve actually setting up our Firebase app in the Firebase console and doing some authentication. I've already done that. So the next step is going to be going to my project settings and downloading this Google service info list file and copying it into the Firebase Chat iOS directory in the sample app. Next, since I'm already in my dashboard, I'm going to go into my console under the Functions tab and just copy this function URL. And then I'm going to go back into Xcode to the Virgil Helper .swift file. And you can see that I actually, it, it, it already has my function URL pasted in there because I did this a little bit earlier. But you, what you'll want to do is you'll want to replace the placeholder, your function URL with your actual function URL to change the variable JW endpoint. Okay, so next I'm going to go set up the cloud functions for the Virgil JWT generation. And you probably noticed that I did that a little out of order just because I was already in my Firebase dashboard. Okay, so now we are on this next GitHub page. And I've already cloned the repository and I've also already 
uh, installed node. If you haven't done those steps, you want to do that first. Instead, I'm just going to go straight to my Firebase login. And we're going to log in through Terminal. Had a quick little error, some little errors there, so that's why the screen changed. Happens. Okay, great. So Firebase is initializing. We're going to set up some functions here first. And those choices that you need to be selecting are all detailed in the tutorial on GitHub. Okay, so this is almost an initializing. So let's go ahead and talk about the next step, which involves that config file that we talked about at the very beginning from our developer dashboard. Great, it's done. Uh, I copied and pasted that um, into a little text file here for myself, which I'm going to paste into Terminal. Uh, your alternative is to just drop it into the project root and then run this command that's in GitHub. All right, one last command to get our cloud functions up and running before we can start building our app. Again, you do see the disclaimer on there while cloud functions are in beta. And we've already done everything over on the iOS set of instructions. So once we're done with this, we can actually go back into Xcode. We've already changed our JWT endpoint. So we're all set there. All right. So now we're back in Xcode and we can look at our Firebase Chat iOS app page and start building it. This is going to take a while, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Do 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 do. do. Okay, we are almost done now. So waiting for it to start, we're launching. I love seeing that build succeeded. So this is where things get really fun. Using Xcode and your Firebase developer dashboard, you can actually see the encrypted data going back and forth between two users using a simulator. If you need help setting that up, we do have a little helper text in GitHub. Right now I'm just gonna look at one phone and see what it looks like in Xcode when a new user signs up. So I'm just gonna create a new user, sign in, test, test, test. And just as a note, you definitely want to be enabling strong password security, which we can definitely help you with through our Pythia service. Okay, so the app works. We just authenticated our new first user and we're going to send a message. It went through. Ta-da! You just built an end-to-end -end encrypted iOS app on Firebase. So what's really fun is if you go into your Firebase dashboard, database channels and then you can click on the thread and see the messages that are actually encrypted being sent back and forth between two users. So all you see is the encrypted text. You can't see any of the plain text. Uh, only the users with their private keys on their devices can see that. Okay, great. Now that you have the sample app up and running on your local computer, there are lots of other resources we have for you to understand the end-to-end -end encrypted concepts as well as security mechanisms for passwords and supporting multiple devices. Check those out at these links or ping us on Slack or via email at dave at virgilsecurity.com. We're here to help you.